Are things just fine? From fellowshipofthemartyrs.com There is only one prayer that I can find in the Bible that Jesus prayed and God didn't answer. This is the perfect, sinless Son of God made flesh. Everyone he tried to heal got healed. Every demon he cursed jumped out of people. The Father gave him all authority and loved him and repeatedly confirmed that this was his Son and that he was proud of him. So how come there is a prayer he prayed that hasn't been answered? Do you even know what it was? John 17, 20-23 Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word, that they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me, and the glory which thou gavest me I have given them, that they may be one, even as we are one, I in them and thou in me, that they may be made perfect in one, that the world may know that thou hast sent me, and hast loved them as thou hast loved me. The very last prayer Jesus Christ prayed before going to the cross was for us, that we would be one as he and the Father are one. And we're about as far from one as you can get. We're the most divided, factious, competitive, selfish religion on the planet right now. Why didn't God answer that prayer? Maybe because we're not praying it in agreement with Jesus. The Word says that where two or more are gathered, He'll be there, and whatever you ask in His name, He will do. Maybe Jesus is praying all by Himself on this one. If you say you love Jesus and He is your Lord in Christ, then maybe you ought to devote yourself entirely to seeing to it that this final wish of Jesus before the cross is fulfilled no matter what. Maybe we should all stop praying for anything other than that God would do whatever it takes to answer this one last unanswered prayer of Jesus. Now I know there will be those among you that say that the universal church, the spiritual bride, is one, and we all share the Holy Spirit, so we're already one, and God answered this prayer. But I'm not buying it. Sorry, you can show me your faith without works, and I'll show you my faith with works. Faith without works is dead, James 2. You can assert your pie-in-the-sky idealism that we're all one as much as you like, but the manifestation of his body on earth is horribly fractured and divided, and nobody is really acting out that oneness. I don't want your cheap talk. If you're supposed to be known by your love, then get to loving each other, and not just your friends or the folks that agree with you either. Love your enemies and turn the other cheek and forgive seventy times seven, and stop doing the acts of the sinful nature. Galatians 5, 19-21 or stop saying you love and obey Jesus. You're not going to inherit the kingdom of God if you don't knock it off. 1 John 2, 9 through 11. He that saith he is in the light and hateth his brother is in darkness even until now. He that loveth his brother abideth in the light and there is none occasion of stumbling in him. But he that hateth his brother is in darkness and walketh in darkness and knoweth not whither he goeth because that darkness hath blinded his eyes. Exactly how broken are things? Is it measurable? Can we statistically show that we're off track, or is this just for effect so we'll repent? How bad could things really be? Oh yeah, it's measurable and verifiable. I'm not making this up. Things are far worse than you know. Hold on to your hat. This gets really ugly. We're not just not being one body. We're doing everything pretty much exactly the opposite of the way Jesus wanted it. This has to be the worst warfare model in history. That's probably why we're getting creamed by the forces of darkness. Continued in Scary Stats and Facts. Lots more on the website, fellowshipofthemartyrs.com.